So you fancy yourself as an astronaut. I'm here at the European Astronaut Centre in Cologne and we're going to give you a full 360 degree view on what it takes to make it to that place, the International Space Station. So tell me a bit about this place we were in here. Yeah, so we are uh, in the training hall of uh, EAC, the European Astronaut Centre in Cologne. And every astronaut that is flying to the International Space Station has to come and train here. It's a part of their uh, standard training, advanced training as well as an astronaut. Why is that? It's because on board ISS there are different modules. Therefore, every astronaut has to learn exactly how each system is working. Uh, this is for their safety and this is for their work quality as well. Just talk me through the different modules that we've got around here. What, and, uh, are those the real size? That yeah, <laughs> this is a, a scale one uh, mock-up. This is the real size, uh, so it looks, uh, it looks very big. Um, so we have here a part of the uh, Russian part, Russian module, service module, uh, to which is attached uh, the ATV. It was a European uh, cargo. Uh, it's not uh, in function anymore. The project uh, is finished, but it was a big uh, success. We have a reproduction of the uh, Soyuz capsule. Uh, not high fidelity, but this is uh, good to sense uh, also the inside, how, how tiny it is. Uh, here we have a real size mockup of Columbus as well, attached to node number two. Uh, and with a portion of the Japanese module, the, the GEM. So welcome in the Columbus mock-up in the European Astronaut Center. So Columbus is the European lab and we are training our astronauts on systems here and on science as well. So underneath your field, there is a, a see-through panel where you can see all the potential system for power, data, etc. And we need to train every astronaut accurately on every behavior of the systems to work with them and also to protect this, themselves and their crewmate from emergency situations. For instance, on the starboard cone, you have some emergency caution and warning equipment here. For instance, for fire depressurization and toxic atmosphere, you have an oxygen mask, you have an extinguisher, you have the audio terminal unit to talk to the ground and also to your crewmates. And we also need to train the astronauts, not only on systems, but on science. As soon as they are mission assigned, they will have to do a lot of scientific experiments. On what do they do this uh, scientific experiment? They do it with a uh, payload. So primary payload, like those big scientific racks, or secondary payload, just like, for instance, this thing here, that are smaller. So scientific racks, this one about biology, uh, are used to perform different experiments on board ISS that are bringing back some data that cannot be collected on Earth due to gravity there. Brilliant. Yes? Very good. Well